In this lesson we're going to look at formatting text, which is to change the appearance of the text. Now if I go over into text mode over here by clicking on this tool, you'll see that in Volumass it populates a second row of tools with whatever mode you're in, and in this case text mode, so we get all these text tools. If I go into object mode and select the text, you'll see I get information as the text as an object, i.e. its size and its position. I also get some text tools as well. Then if I go into note edit mode, I also get these, and the text is selected, I also get these text tools. But I can also adjust things like the kerning, like so, and I can adjust things like tracking, etc. Okay, I'll just undo those. And if I go back into text mode and start looking at these text tools, I have things like the font selector here. So I fly that down and I might select this font. So I've changed the font. And then I can change the size of the text in text mode. So I select the text, and here we've got the size tool, which shows us the size in millimeters and inches, feet and yards, with the, the long hint that you can see here. Now, if I want to see my text in, in a point size, which a lot of people do like to work in point size, you can click on the Settings button here, go down to General, and under Editing, you'll see Text Units. Currently, mine's set to Current Units, so in other words, it will show whatever the units I'm working in for the text. I can change that to points, or I can leave it as my current units. So if I'm working in metric, I'll see my point or my font size in metric. Uh, I'm currently working in inches, so I see it in inches. So I can change that numerically by typing in some value, such as that, or I can change it by using these up and down arrows. I'll just leave that at two inches. I can also change the font width. In other words, I can stretch it out or squash it in. The default is 100%. I also have these quick decrease and increase tools here, so I can increase or decrease and set the size of the font that way as well. I'll set it back to 2 inches. Now other tools we have up here are the bold, italic and underline tools. So if I wanted to make this, this particular piece of text bold, I could just click bold and it becomes bold. Uh, if I make it italic, it becomes italic and I can make it bold and italic. So I have those options. I can also set things like an underline or a double underline. Any of those sorts of underline styles I can set there. I'll turn that off for now. We'll just make the text back to normal. Another thing we can do is actually set the style of the characters. So for argument's sake, in this particular case, we want to, we would like to make the C in uh, superscript. So we come up to this drop down here and we set superscript or we set it to subscript. And as you can see, it does that. Now I'll select all that back. And when some text isn't all the same, the preview here goes bright blue rather than black. If I set this back to normal, you'll see that when I reselect it, it goes back to black here. Now, I can also set it to small caps, or I can set it to all caps, or back to normal again. Another thing I can set up in these tools is the case. So I've got it to, I can set it to lowercase, I can capitalize it, uppercase, toggle case, and so on. So we'll set it back to capitalized. So there are those sort of tools that we can do up there to change the appearance of this text. Another thing we can do is actually make the text italic the way we want it to be italic. Now the advantage of that is because some fonts don't come with italic. So you can do it yourself. So you select the text, we go up to this drop down here which is the advanced tools and we look at this tool here. And this is skew text. Now the first time we click this, the tool will go away. But if we keep, if we come back to it immediately, Vinyl Master will recognize we want to see what we're doing and watch it as a preview. And as you can see, as I change this, clearly the text italicizes. So that's a very handy tool to have. We'll set it back to zero. Okay. Now earlier I prepared a sample because I want to talk about justification now or horizontal alignment. So we'll slide across to here. We'll select this in text mode. So this is just some default text in a text box. And as you can see, the text is being wrapped to the edges of the text box and at the moment it's block left, or left justify. So if I go up to this tool here, this is my horizontal alignment tool, I've got align to left, to center, to right, to force, to flush, and no text alignment. So for example, I can make it centered, or I can make it right, or I can make it flush justify. I've got those options here. Okay, another thing I can do, which is a great thing in Vinyl Master, is I can change one block of text or one paragraph of text to another paragraph within the same text box. So I might want this flush justify, but I want this one to be centered, this block here to be centered, so I can do that. And that's a great thing you can do in the program. 
So you have all your justification here and as you see if, as I readjust it, it automatically wraps the text and remembers what it was doing. Now we'll set that back to left and we can select all the text and we can make it all flush justify and in text mode you can still move this text around you can resize the text box you can stretch it resize it and you can even rotate the text if you wanted to and if we go back to here it's the same thing in text mode we have those same controls I can click on this and move it about I can stretch it put it back rotate it etc and that's how we adjust some basic things on text in Bottlemaster that's the end of this lesson